Hi everyone, I'm Diana Kelter, a Senior Trends Analyst here at Mintel. Hi, I'm Alexis DeSalva, I'm the Senior Retail and E-Commerce Analyst. So the reason Alexis and, and I wanted to sit down and chat today is because we've both been tracking news this week that Ty Haney, the CEO and founder of Outdoor Voices, um, has resigned from the company. Um, so Outdoor Voices is a company both Alexis and I pay attention to from a professional standpoint, but we're also personally Outdoor With Voices money. shoppers. <laughs> um, we are fans of the brand, so it's just something um, we want to talk about the implications it has for the broader DTC space. It's obviously an industry everyone's paying attention to right now, um, so we just wanted to kind of have a quick chat about what this um, CEO kind of resigning means um, from the broader landscape. So from the DTC space from a trends perspective, we know it's had a big impact across the board in retail in terms of consumers leading with their values, um, really connecting to the brand on a more personal level. Um, and we know that CEOs play a big role in that. They're really connected to the brand. So Ty Haney for Outdoor Voices has really led the mission of that doing things motto that anyone can be an athlete. Um, so really we wanted to sit down and talk about what that means that now she's leaving from the brand and how that's going to have a ripple effect on how consumers still respond to connecting with it. Yeah, I think it's really interesting because Diana and I were talking about like in this digital native DTC era, um, especially for Gen Z and millennial shoppers, we're a lot more aware of who the founder behind the brand is and you're mm -hmm. connected to not yep. just the brand, but the person or people that started that brand. Um, and then when there's something that happens, when there's a shift either right. with the person disconnecting from the company or the brand in, in general, or if there's something that's kind of like less than desirable in terms of media coverage, as we saw with Away recently. Mm -hmm. Totally. How does that affect what shoppers um, want to do in the future in terms of connecting to that brand? So will they disconnect themselves from that brand entirely because that founder is no longer maybe, right. you know, as held in high regard or is no longer around? So how are they going to kind of use their purchase power? So it'll be interesting to see how that changes with the Outdoor Voices community because they are so loyal, not totally. just to the brand, but also to Ty Haney. Totally. And I think what we're seeing right now is DTC brands are hitting in that growing pains state of business um, where they built up this successful community that has that see these brands as friends essentially I think right. we see that with Glossier as well Absolutely. they view Emily Weiss as like part of that brand identity and what she stands for and what would happen and if what she would left. happen if she left exactly or did something had a misstep exactly so I think we're going to see some maybe some concern on consumers part like is this brand still going to stand for the quality that they associated with Ty Haney standing for is it still going to have this motto where they feel like it's an inclusive community where anyone can kind of be an athlete. Right. Um, so I think we're going to pay attention to that evolution a lot. And one thing we just saw on Instagram is they just, after Voices, it, the future of it is that they formed a partnership with St. Vincent. Um, and the, what it described in the emails is this modular, more kind of it puts a really that fashion forward element still. Right. Um, and they, so it seems like they're still moving forward. Consumer interest seemed to be there based on the comments. Um, it wasn't any negative commentary that I saw on this release, um, but I think we're, they're going to really lean into this new product launch as a way to kind of, kind of not misstep, but kind of avoid that conversation of her leaving. And I'm sure we'll see her write something about her take on it as well right. in the coming days. Well, that's what I was yeah. going to add is it'll be interesting to see what happens because right now she has very been very vocal on social mm -hmm. media about being supportive of the brand and I think she really wants them to succeed. So I think shoppers will follow that note. I think in general consumers at the end of the day are going to buy what they want to buy. But like I said, in mm -hmm. this kind of DTC era of shoppers where there is more interest in the founder or mm -hmm. the people behind the brand, I wouldn't be surprised of some shoppers who are Ty Haney devotees, if she were to come out and say that she was forced out or that something negative happened, that they maybe would shift away from Outdoor Voices and right. follow her wherever she decides to go next. She totally. actually, in the last, I think, six months, had a baby and got married, and she's in her you know young 30s. So it would be interesting to see if that dynamic or if that becomes part of the dynamic totally. of the conversation of, you know, I felt forced out, I had a baby, I got married, is that related? Obviously there are other financial struggles and, and things right. that are happening as a company, but 
it wouldn't be, you know, out of the question for her to kind of relate the two in the future when she's ready to talk about it. And if that were the case, that could shift some consumers maybe away from Outdoor Voices and to where Ty Haney goes next. So Totally. We'll have to watch. Yeah. So I think to wrap up this, I think one term both Alexis and I used last year a lot was thinking beyond the transaction. Right. And I think this is a great example of how consumers aren't just thinking about what products a company sells, but what they stand for, who's behind the company. So I think that's the broader takeaway for really every brand right now is to, that consumers are paying attention to the, the full story of a brand and not just what products are on the shelves. So stay tuned. Yes, thank you. <laughs>